Cicadas are insects infamous for their loud and unusual hum, as well as their long, odd life cycle. Cicadas belong to the order Hemiptera, also known as true bugs. Both the nymph and adult cicada feed on xylem, from plants, which is 99% water, which may explain why they can spend 17 years underground as nymphs. Cicadas begin their lives as eggs in small tree branches, preferably dead ones, so that you, the tree cannot potentially kill the eggs. Once the cicada hatches and is ready, it will fall to the ground, burrow down to the roots, and begin feeding on the tree's xylem. It will stay underground for 2 to 17 years, depending on the species. Once the nymphs are ready, they will emerge from the ground, climb, climb up the nearest tree, and shed their exoskeleton, and become adults. They will almost immediately begin looking for mates. The males look for mates by making loud clicking noise that is species specific. The female will respond by flicking her wings. The most common or popular cicada in the United States is the magic cicada, which is the order of the 13 and 17 year cicadas. There are over 170 species of cicada in the United States and over seven species in New Mexico alone. But I'm only going to focus on three of the species that are found in New Mexico. The first species I will discuss is the Bosque Cicada, or the Tibesan Dilobatis. It is classified as a dog day cicada, meaning that a brood will appear every year, which is common throughout much of the southwest. It is a relatively large species, averaging about two and a half inches in length. It is found along the Rio Grande, where it feeds on cottonwood, birches, and sycamores. The second species I will discuss is the Cactus Dodger Cicada, or Cacum velvata. It is smaller than the Bosca Cicada, averaging only one and a half inches in length. As you can probably guess by its name, it feeds mainly on cactus, specifically yucca, stool, and aquatil. It is also referred to as the Desert Cicada, and is also one of the few insects that cools itself by sweating. The final species found in New Mexico that I will discuss is the Apache Cicada. Desiproda Apache, also known as the Citrus Cicada. These cicadas could be called medium sized since they grow to about 2 inches in length. Much like the Cactus Dodger, they too cool themselves by sweating. The Apache's diet is similar to that of the Cactus Dodger, but also includes desert shrubs.